Your spirit guides have been trying to send you a beautiful blessing, but in some ways you either have been resisting it or have been going around it. You're just not right now reaching to a point where you're actually hitting the spot where you're actually holding the vibration that you need in order to access this blessing. How can you access it? How can you stop resisting or stop going around it? We have the world. The seven of pentacles, perhaps in the two of pentacles. We have page of swords at the bottom. Many of you could have cut people off. You could have released toxic people, people who were immature, who were not there for you in terms of your highest good, in terms of helping you move forward to the next level. However, after doing that, you're not able to attract new people in your reality, people who are aligning with you. So you're almost like done closing a cycle with this world, but you're not fully closing it because it's almost like you're always attracting the same type of partnerships when it comes to your friends, or you feel that whatever was in the past is still like being regurgitated to you by the universe. So you're wondering, what have you done wrong? Or what's going on? Or have you maybe not given enough to others? Is it because you're not giving enough? Or maybe you're giving too much? Maybe the energy exchange is not right for you with the two of pentacles. So you are questioning yourself about that and in some ways this is the blessing that the universe has been trying to give to you has been trying to send to you and like i said in many ways it's very difficult for you to access this right now why we have the king of cups we have the page of swords and the ace of wands okay there is a certain type of struggle between your present and your past, you've released the old ways, you've released toxic people, toxic behaviors in so many ways, you've done a lot of healing, but you're still struggling in terms of creating the new you. It's like your old identity has left, but who is the new pan one? Who are you now? You're still not fully clear on that. You're still not fully clear on that. So this Ace of Wands who's been trying to get towards you, this new beginning here, when it comes to even the passionate sides of yours, the creative side of yours is difficult for you to access still because you are this King of Cups now. This is who you are. This is the energy you're going to be embodying. This is who you're supposed to become. But with the Page of Swords, sometimes you do fall back in the past. You do look at the, the past yourself and you have a bit of regret or sometimes you just have a bit of nostalgia, melancholia. You know, sometimes you think, well, you know what? Maybe I wasn't healed before. Maybe I didn't access the best relationship, but at least I had people around me. At least I had this or that. So that kind of um, mentality is still hindering you. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Sometimes you get lost in those illusions. Sometimes you get lost daydreaming about the past or daydreaming about the future, but it's very difficult for you to access the current present energy of who you are right now. Okay, so what is your guidance in terms of how can you access? How can you stop resisting? How can you access this beautiful blessing? Wow, the tower, destructive energy, five of pentacles, the wheel, my gosh, and the strength. You know, there's a huge wake up call coming your way, you guys. Do you know that? There's going to be a huge wake up call here with the star at the bottom, a wake up call reminding you who you are and who you are supposed to be. I am seeing your spirit guide telling you, pile one, enough feeling sorry for yourself. Enough believing that nobody's going to be there for you. Enough believing that people are going to abandon you. Enough being in any kind of victim mentality. Enough of that. Your spirit guides are going to be sending you messages, confirmation of this reading. So you guys could be seeing gold. So gold earrings, gold jewelry, also gold uh, clothing. Gold is a strong uh, manifestation here. So you guys, you're being called out. And this is actually happening exactly at the right timing. This is all about divine timing. Where you're going to gain a kind of strength, a confidence in yourself. Where you're going to finally understand... Oh my God, this was here all this time. So some of you, this blessing was right in front of your face. You can see it. You needed this breakdown, this release. Oh, ten of wands. Yes, release of heaviness, the burdens. Burdens that you've carried on from the past. Burdens that you still have on your shoulders. It's like a lighthearted energy penetrating your big cap um, 
carapace. So some of you have released the past, but deep down you haven't fully healed in order to be able to receive. So you are not completely open. Your heart is still blocked in some ways. You guys could have a heart wall. I want you to look into that heart walls. There's ways to heal that. There's ways to release the heart wall. So the heart wall is being broken down. Once you do that, you'll see page of pentacles. People are going to start connecting with you, communicating with you, and it's going to feel right. It's going to feel great. It's going to feel like everything feels right now. Everything feels exactly where I'm supposed to be, exactly who I'm supposed to be with. Yes, people are going to be reaching out to you. Some of you could be connecting with people from your job. What else? Or even creating great partnerships when it comes to work. Page of Wands, yes. Eight of Swords. And Nine of Wands, yes. So, you guys, your guidance is to be to be a bit more curious as to what was blocking or what was putting you in a sense of being boundary driven restrictions here what is restriction restricting you you know in terms of your energy but also what is restricting your mental your mental thoughts here your mental struggles what is putting restrictions on you with this eight of swords what is bringing anxiety i want you to take a time here just to sit down write down everything that you think could be making you feel anxious when you connect to new people when you meet new people, what kind of anxiety are you feeling? I remember a time where I would go in a meeting at work right after COVID and I would get so anxious. I can't even actually talk to people. I would get frozen, anxious. Uh, uh, it was just very hard for me to connect to others in that way again. And I realized so much about myself and it connected me to work. But anyway, this is not about me, but I want you to take that time to make that kind of uh, list what is making you feel anxious when you meet new people yes ace of pentacles because this is a new beginning for you that is opening up it's a gift for you you've worked hard enough you've worked hard enough releasing all this toxic energy from yourself from your environment from the people you've known it's a big hard work you guys i see the bee the bee is always a hard worker but ultimately the bee wants the honey so when is your honey coming, you guys? I want you to see and let me know when is your honey coming. I want you to be open to receive your honey. Yes, Ace of Cups. I have it in reverse, but I want you to know that it's actually opening up for you in the right, you know, in the front side with the lotus coming out of the mud. So you guys are coming out of the mud, you know. The lotus is always the most beautiful flower that grows out of the mud you're going to be able to grow your partnerships, the new ones, the new friendships, the new lovers out of the mud. I promise you once you do that. So let me know in the comment section if this resonated. Pile one. I love you. I'm going to pile two.